top hacks to achieve your goals by flexing your willpower. Let's jump in with a few great quotes. Strength does not come from physical capacity. It comes from an indomitable will. Mahatma Gandhi. Willpower is essential to the accomplishment of anything worthwhile. Brian Tracy. If you want to develop a healthier lifestyle, you need to develop positive habits. Unfortunately, just having access to all the information on Google is not enough to help you achieve your goals. You probably already have some idea what foods to eat to be healthier. Let me know in the comments. Having a consistent game of Actually, eating healthier is an entirely different commitment and requires both won't power and willpower. You guys know what I mean, right? Consistently making good long-term choices for our health can feel challenging without a coach holding you accountable. I'm Lisa G, the best-selling author of The Boss Weight Loss. And by the time we finish this video, you'll have my top hacks on how to build confidence by flexing your willpower. I hope you guys are excited. Let me know in the comments and I'll check them all when I'm finished. Your confidence will build as you boost your willpower for the better results in all areas of your life. How do we do it? The following tips can help you power up your willpower to build confidence and help you apply your new consistent habits to other hard things. Leave me a one if you're here live or a two if you're catching me on the replay. Hack number one is mindfulness. You need to be more mindful and slow down. Many decisions can happen when you go on autopilot. You need to slow down, think about your breathing, and bring yourself back to the moment. Feel the temptation, but don't act on it yet. Try telling yourself instead, if this feeling is still here in 10 minutes, you'll act on it. Take a little time to be mindful and then make your decision. Let me know in the comments if you've been there. Here we go. Hack number two is have a vision of your goal. Imagine yourself crossing the finish line for the half marathon. Actually visualize the excitement. Feel the wind on your face. Imagine the medal. All top athletes and leaders visualize their goals first. This is a lot more fun and motivating to think about than how much more work it is to get out of your bed for your long run on Sunday morning. You can actually retrain your brain with more motivating feelings versus not running this morning is more enjoyable than running this morning. Your goals have to be meaningful for this to help. Hack number three, make your toughest choices first. Scientists have found that willpower gets drained throughout the day. You guys ever felt that way? So start your toughest challenges first. Get that project started or fit in the workout before you even check your email or your phone. The high you'll get from crossing off your hardest to do things will help you breeze through the rest of your day. Hack number four is to make progress. You have to be committed. Have you ever felt like cheating right after you take a few steps towards your goals? I used to justify it myself by thinking, I work out, I can eat anything I want, but it was never true. It's a form of self-sabotage. A famous nutritionist I interviewed explained it this way, a cookie won't change a problem with your spouse or a coworker. So don't self-sabotage and tell yourself, I worked out three days in a row, so I deserve this cookie. It's totally irrational. I used to trick myself into setbacks every weekend and end up zeroing out every Monday. 
Have you guys ever done that? Skipping temptation will help build your confidence so that you can do other hard things. How do you do that? Here's what to do instead of backsliding. Recommit. If you worked out three days this week, tell yourself you must be really committed to your health and fitness goals rather than take it as an excuse for wiggle room. Don't take the same cheat options. Trust me, I've been there and it holds you back from actually crushing your goals. Have you guys ever felt this way too? Let me know in the comments. Hack number five is to meditate. Meditation is great for flexing your willpower. Bringing your attention to your breathing for 15 minutes or even five minutes flexes your willpower muscles by applying discipline to your thinking. When your attention is drifting, your mind uses willpower to bring you back to your breathing. Over time, even small amounts of meditation will help you build the discipline to easily do what was once hard, like you do when you push through a long stretch at work. Hack number six is to set mini goals. They seem more doable, like committing to three 20 minute runs this week compared to a half marathon. It's more doable, right? Mini goals are great because they're easier to achieve and they boost your commitment to staying the course. When we chunk them down, we see them as achievable rather than daunting. Each time you succeed at one, it boosts your sense of personal integrity. Not only are you capable of doing what you set out to do, but you follow through on it. Nice job. The beauty of mini goals is that over time, mini goals and the momentum you've built by doing them can quickly turn into larger goals. So that half marathon might be more likely to happen even sooner than you might think too. Finally, hack number seven is you need to sleep. Research shows that people who don't get enough sleep have a hard time exercising their willpower. Sleep is critical for a healthy brain, along with just about everything else. So optimize your willpower muscle, make sure you're catching your Z's. I know I've struggled with this one. Let me know in the comments. In summary, you just need to take the first hard step. As a new behavior becomes a habit, it becomes natural. You have to use less and less willpower to make it happen. When you're starting something new, remind yourself that the first steps are the hardest. It'll probably never feel harder than it does in the beginning. Repeated behaviors like exercise or eating healthier take weeks and then the new habits take hold. At that point, the habit will be so ingrained, you'd have to try hard not to do it. Create your action plan now. Just to reach your goal, if you want to make your goal happen, you got to take action. Download my six steps and mistakes that are holding you back from your goals or message me for more information on social media. I'm Lisa G reminding you that your health is your wealth. Thanks for coming. Don't forget to comment, like, and share. And I'll see you soon.